Hello everyone, welcome back to the maths class of standard 3. I am Shweta and I am teaching chapter number 10, measures of length. And this is video number 4 of this chapter. Children, in this video we will learn subtraction in measurement of length. In the previous video we have done addition in measurement of length. In this video we will do subtraction in measurement of length. Should we start this topic? As you can see, here I have written two questions. I am just going to solve these one by one. The rules that we have to follow in subtraction in measurement of length is same that we have followed in addition of length. Okay. So first we have to arrange the different metric units in separate columns. So as here number 1 you can see 75 kilometer and 215 meter is written. Means here two different metric units are kilometer and meter. Okay. Now we have made two different columns of the units. Now we have to arrange the numbers according to that. 75 is kilometer. So we have to write 75 in the column of kilometer. 215 is meter. So we have to write under the column of meter. Okay. And 26 kilometer. So this is 26 kilometer. So we have to write here 26 and 378 meter. 378 in meter column. Okay. Now we have arranged these number. We have to give the subtraction sign. Okay. Now always remember that we have to start our calculation always from the smallest unit. Okay. So is this possible to subtract 8 from 5? No. Then this one will ask 1 from this place. So this will become 0 and this 5 will become 15. Okay. 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. Okay. Now this is 0. So can we subtract 7 from 0? No. So this 0 will borrow 1 from this place. So this will become 1 and this will become 10. Okay. Now 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. Now here 1 is there. Okay. Now 3 we have to subtract from 1. This is not possible. So this 1 will borrow 1 from this place. So this will become 4 and this will become 11. Okay. Okay. Now 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. Okay. Now this is 4. So can we subtract 6 from 4? No. So this 4 will ask 1 from this place. So this will become 6 and this will become 14. Now 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. Now 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Now the answer we have got. So we have to write the final statement. That thus the difference is Forty eight kilometer and eight thirty seven meter. Understood? As you can see here again, kilometer and meter different units are there. So we will make two different columns that is kilometer and meter. The question is written seventy four kilometer and ten meter from ninety seven kilometer and eighty meter. We have to subtract this one from this one. Always you have to remember while doing the subtraction, we have to write the bigger number first. Okay. So in these, the bigger number are 97 kilometer and 80 meter. So first we will write 97 kilometer and 80 meter. Okay. And then we will write 74 kilometer and 10 meter. Now we have to subtract. 0 minus 0, 0. 8 minus 1, 7. 7 minus 4, 3. 
9 minus 7, 2. Okay, now we have to write the final statement. Thus, the difference is twenty three kilometer and seventy meter. I hope this is clear to you. So just pause this video and write these examples in your maths notebook. Okay, children. So here I have written a statement sum, and we will try to find out the solution of this problem. Okay, the question is. The distance between two towns is 682 kilometer 800 meter. Okay. Suppose the distance between Delhi and Mumbai is 682 kilometer and 800 meter. Okay. A bus has covered 391 kilometer to 82 meter. Okay. Now you have started your journey by a bus. You are going from Mumbai to Delhi. Okay. You are going from Mumbai to Delhi. And that bus in which you are sitting has covered 391 kilometer and 282 meter. It already has covered these distance. So now how much distance the bus has to cover to reach Delhi? You have started your journey from Mumbai and you have to go to the Delhi. Okay. The, the total distance between Mumbai and Delhi is 682 kilometer and 800 meter. Okay, now from here you have started your journey by a bus. Now the bus has covered 391 kilometer and 282 meter. Now how much distance the bus has to cover to reach Delhi? This we have to find out. Okay, so first statement we have to write the distance between two towns. Total. Distance between two towns is equal to. Okay. Total distance is 682 kilometer and 800 meter. So, here first we will make two columns kilometer and meter. Now, in kilometer, we will write 682 and in meter, we will write 800. Okay. Second line, we have to write distance covered by bus. Okay. So, here we will write distance covered by bus is equal to Distance covered by bus is 391 kilometer, 391 kilometer and 282 meter. Okay, now we have to find out the distance that is left to be covered. So the final, the third statement we will write remaining distance. Remaining distance. is equal to. Okay. Now we have to subtract. So here 0 minus 2 not possible. So this will borrow 1 from this place. But this is again 0. So this will borrow 1 from this place. So this will become 7 and this will become 10. Now this will give 1 to this place then this will become 9 and this will become 10. Okay, now 10 minus 2, 8, 9 minus 8, 1, 7 minus 2, 5. Okay, now 2 minus 1, 1, 8 minus 9, not possible. So, this will borrow 1 from this place. So, this will become 5 and this will become 18. Okay, now 18 minus 9 is equal to 9. And 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So, the remaining distance is 291 kilometer and 518 meter. Now, the final statement we have to write. Thus, remaining distance
is equal to 291 kilometer and 518 meter. I hope this is clear to you. So just pause this video and write these examples also in your maths notebook. Okay, so here again I have written a statement sum. The question is, if a wire is 58 meter and 20 centimeter long. Okay, I have a bundle of wire that is 58 meter and 20 centimeter long. And 36 meter of it's used for fencing. Now I'm just doing the fencing of my house. And I have used 36 meter of the wire. From this, this is the bundle of the wire I have. And from this 36 meter I have used. So, how much wire is left here in this bundle we have to find out. So here the first statement we will write the total length of the wire. Total length of the wire. Total length of the wire is? 58 meter and 20 centimeter. Two different units are there. So we will make two different columns. Meter and centimeter. Okay. Now in meter we have to write 58. And in centimeter 20. Now the second statement we have to write. Length of wire we have used. Okay. So we will write here. Length of wire has been used is equal to that is only 36 meter. Centimeter is not given. Okay. So in the meter column we will write 36 and in centimeter we will write 0, 0. Okay. Now the third statement we have to write. Remaining length of the wire. Remaining length of the wire is equal to. Okay. Now here we have to subtract. Keep the subtraction sign and then subtract. 0 minus 0, 0. 2 minus 0, 2. 8 minus 6, 2. 5 minus 3, 2. So here the remaining length of wire is 22 meter and 20 centimeter. So the final statement we will write. Thus, the length of the remaining wire Is equal to 22 meter and 20 centimeter. Understood this? So just pause this video and write this example also in your maths notebook.